hi boys and girls welcome back to kids daily devotion we are in week 14 14 yes the weeks are moving so very quickly all right my name is auntie rashida and i'm so very happy to be sharing with you guys today all right our scripture reading for today will be judges 7 reading from 19 to 21 and our memory verse will be Psalm 19, verse 14. Our scripture reading for today is Judges 7, verses 19 to 21. We'll read from the King James Version first. So Gideon and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch, and they had but newly set the watch. And they blew the trumpets and break the pictures that were in their hands. And the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pictures and held the lamps in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow with all. And they cried, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And they stood every man in his place round about the camp. And all the hosts ran and cried and fled. The New International Version reads, Gideon and the hundred men with him reached the edge of the camp at the beginning of the middle watch, just after they had changed the guard. They blew their trumpets and broke the jars that were in their hands. The three companies blew the trumpets and smashed the jars, grasping torches in their left hands and holding in their right hands the trumpets that were to blow. They shouted, A sword for the Lord God for Gideon. While each man held his position around the camp, all the Midianites ran crying out as they fled. We have just read a portion of God's holy word. Let's honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. Okay, now let's explain what this passage of scripture is all about. The Israelites forgot all about God, all about the laws, and all about the plans he actually had for them. Because they forgot about him, he made the Israelites fall in the hands of the Midianites. The Midianites hate the Israelites so very much because they failed to understand that God really loves them and to believe that he still is with them. God made him fall in the hands of the Midianites. They fought them in a battle and they lost. But guess what? Because God have a very special love for the Israelites, he made another promise to them in making them victorious in another fight with the Midianites. God had called Gideon to come on board to lead the Israelites into battle. But at first, Gideon was a bit nervous. He was a bit down because he said, how can I really lead the Israelites in this great battle? They went in battle before and we lost. But we are asking me to go again, God. God is with the children of Israel. So he called Gideon. He gave him that courage to go forth. And guess what? They did won that battle. God was with Israel. Israelites when they fought against the Midianites. Now, let's apply to what we have learned today to our lives. God had called Gideon to be the judge of the Israelites and bringing them out to war against the Midianites. God kept his promise to Gideon. He knew what he wanted from the children of Israel, so he gave them that reminder. Look here, keep your mind on me. Because I am God and I am the same God that brought you out of Egypt. Boys and girls, when God asks us to do something, let us fail not but obey him. It is good when we listen to God and do what he asks us to do. It is very important. Important. Let us continue to rest our minds on God and let us continue to act in his ways. He wants us to remember him. He wants us to depict who he is, right? He's a holy God. So let us just continue to do that. That's in case we enter a war. We won't lose. 
just like the Israelites did. But if we do, trust me, if we continue to trust in God, he will cause us to win our battles. For our activities today, I want you to write three ways in which we can obey God. Yes, for those with the books, you have that space provided in your book. You can just write your answers there. And for those with the journal, you can complete your activities in it. Also, remember, your activity is list three ways in which we can obey God. Okay, guys, before we go, we'll just recite our memory verse and we will repeat this prayer together. God, please help me to obey and trust you every time you ask me to do something amen okay guys we'll see you tomorrow Mwah! stay safe let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight O lord my strength and my redeemer the new international version Psalm 19 verse 14 May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer.